welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm responding to this whole Asmund Gold situation where he went off on that whole tangent with the Palestinians and, and then, you know, had a moment and all this, okay? But I think it's important to understand facts surrounding this situation. So number one, the Palestinians, Arabs, are just humans, right? They're genetics. Some of them have good genetics. Some of them had bad genetics. They're just humans, like every other race, they're just humans, okay? Their culture and their society, their food is amazing. It's all, oh, I love Arab food, Mediterranean food, love it. It's delicious, nutritious, love in it, all kinds of love in it, okay? Aside from their food, the Muslim slash Arab countries govern themselves in a very regressive way and it's actually tough to say regressive when they've never progressed so they're all living in a generational maturity that is in some cases centuries behind modern generational maturity western democracies our societies have progressed a lot of the arab muslim societies have never progressed or they progressed a little bit and then slid back into regressiveness and a lot of the regressiveness comes from war i mean when people are fighting and killing they just all become less uh, generationally mature. It, they digress, they regress. They, it's the war, it's the constant exploding and the bombing, okay. But their society is absolutely inferior to Western democracy. There is no question. Human rights is, is more important than your feelings, okay. They don't have women's rights. They don't have open media, a lot of these things. And Palestine, uh, Gaza, Palestinians are really been blown up, been fighting for so long that they're just not that advanced. They haven't progressed, okay? Has nothing to do with their genetics has nothing to do with their cultural values. It has their society. It, well, yes, it does have to do with their cultural values. It doesn't have to do with, it doesn't identify their whole entire being because they have in, uh, delicious food. They have millions of other Palestinians around the world that don't, that believe in Western democratic values, okay? And that's where the catching point is. It's like you have to be able to distinguish between the way these people govern themselves and their genetics because they're not connected, okay? It's, it's, it's location. When you are in an area that has been around and populated heavily for thousands of years, people are just kind of tending to, to do what they've been doing. You've got to move away from there, which people have done. <laughs> people getting away from that area is how the whole entire world pretty much got populated, right? So, and that distinction is very important, okay? And as Western democracies, we need to encourage democracy worldwide. Because liberal democracies don't attack liberal democracies. Real democracies don't attack other democracies. So if we can build a world that is just democracies, then we can stop with all these killings and bombings and missiles and drones and just not do that stuff, okay? But we, the Western democracies, have to support strong democracies all around the world. We can't just go, oh, this guy's gonna do what we need him to do to do this 
you know, banana republic level stuff when they installed fascist dictators all over South America. And that has not been good for anybody, okay? Dictators are bad for everybody. Left-wing dictators, right-wing dictators, religious dictators. Dictators are bad for the world. Horrible for the world, okay? So let's build a dictator-free world, educate the world to where the world is a very, very intelligent place because intelligent people don't do bombings and killings and all this stuff unless they're just pushed to the point where they don't have a choice which you know happens in like what's happening in ukraine right now ukraine didn't want all those people in ukraine didn't want to have to kill anybody the russians are forcing them to kill russians by truckloads okay the the people in israel didn't want to be attacked on october 7th they got attacked Okay, so what the world needs to do is just support democracies. And why I say liberal democracies is because democracy is liberal. It's a very conservative thing to not have a democracy. So liberal democracies come out of education. This is the, this is the key. So no, we don't hate on the Palestinians because of their genetics, we hate on the Palestinians, not hating, hating, but like, I don't like the way they treat people. I don't like the way they administer their society. I don't like the way they make their women wear things on their heads, okay? I don't like any of that. I think it's disgusting the way they run their society. I'm not disgusted with those people's genetics or their food. <laughs> But the way they administer their society is the problem. And we need to get away from dictator societies, all of them. We need to stop being buddies with Saudi Arabia. That needs to be a democracy. And do you realize how mind blowing that is for those people to even comprehend? Because they're all loving their slave lives. It's a real crazy thing. You should look up the 2011 Egypt uh, uprising, right? You could just see time and time again, people saying, oh, we wanna be dominated. It's like, what are you talking? You don't want freedom? They don't want freedom. Well, it's because of their upbringing. Because no sane person that's raised with freedom is gonna want anything else. It's when you're raised in a situation that has nothing to do with their genetics. It has to do with the way they administer their society. And we can absolutely criticize this and we can absolutely try to do whatever we can to make that place safe for everybody. It's not safe for gay people. It's not safe for liberal people. It's not safe for all kinds of people, right? The whole world should be, I'm a stoner. I want to go all around the world and be able to smoke weed, not in your face, you know, not blowing it in your kid's face. No, I don't, you know, I want to go see the world, but I don't want to be stoned while I'm doing it. You know how many places will kill me for being a stoner, right? One of them's Gaza. You can't, you can't go get kind buds in Gaza, bro. So we need to separate and we need to be concise with our criticisms because their society is whack. The way they administer their society is whack. The way they elected Hamas with their intent on completely eliminating all the Jews from the Middle East is whack, okay? So, but that has nothing to do with their genetics, okay? Or whether they, this one Arab person, Palestinian person is a nice person, whether that's true or not, is a case by case basis. And you can't just generalize and say all those people are mean people. They did vote for Moss, but all it takes is 51%. I don't know what the vote count was, but when it comes right down to it, you, I don't generalize. I generalize the way their society is being run and that's based on their leaders they picked, but I'm not like, oh, all those people are just shit. 
Not at all. So that's what Asmon Gold should have said instead of just, you know, and, and people dying is bad, right? And he's like, I don't care if those people die. I, I have a, like, I'm like, yeah, it's bad those people are dying. Especially like when the, the proof of torture and just blatant killing like that stuff is just way too much and aggravating that the Israel, they don't even need to do that. They don't need to torture people. They're in the right, they were attacked. Don't torture people. You're just creating future problems, which is something that religious whack people love to do. They love to kick that can down the road by doing messed up stuff to their people, their opponents. Okay, we see this time and time again, and it's religion that's doing this. And, and criticizing their religion as like an archaic and all that, that is completely okay. Saying all religions are garbage, they're all a bunch of kooks, that is, has nothing to do with all those people's genetics and whether those people following those genetic or those religious faiths are bad people. They're all confused, really confused. But I don't, oh, they're all bad people. No, okay? You have to take people on a case-by-case -case basis. And generalization of people's genetics, that's the Hitler thing. That's where you get the Nazi and all this stuff. Like, those people's genetics is bad. Nah, they're just humans' genetics. The way they administer their society is abhorrent. Peace. Like, subscribe. Thank you for watching my video.